What do President Barack Obama, Bill Gates, and Oscar De La Hoya have in common? Besides being wildly successful, all three happen to be left-handers. Traditionally, lefties have had a bad rap. They were considered evil. The Latin word for left is sinister. While some negative perceptions of lefties persist today, some of these ideas about lefties have largely been debunked, says Sam Wang, neuroscientist and co-author of Welcome to Your Child's Brain. There's no evidence that lefties are more accident-prone than righties, he says, and contrary to popular belief, they don't die earlier than righties. The death myth began with a Canadian study in the 90s that said lefties died nine years earlier than righties. Dr. Wang says that study was flawed because it likely included left-handers who were forced at a young age to become right-handed, a common practice in the past. Today, popular lefty lore has taken a different turn. Some think lefties are smarter or more creative, and they're considered to have a natural advantage over righties in some fields. But is it true? To be sure, lefties appear to thrive in adversarial situations. One theory says their success is dependent on being in the minority. Because lefties make up only about 10% of the general population, right-handers are less familiar with competing against them. It's an advantage that helps them in sports like baseball or tennis. Dr. Wang says a lefty's brain could conceivably lead to other positive benefits. In the labor market, college-educated men who are left-handed earn 15% more than their right-handed counterparts, according to a 2007 article published in the journal Laterality. They say the salary advantage may support the findings of an earlier 1995 study published in the American Journal of Psychology that reported left-handed men are better at divergent thinking, the ability to generate many possible solutions when problem-solving. Still, the evidence is conflicting. Other findings presented at the National Bureau of Economic Research earlier this year indicate lefties on average earn 10% lower salaries, according to analysis. To understand handedness, it's important to note that the human brain is divided into two parts, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere, and that muscle control is contralateral, meaning one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. Generally, humans process language on the left side of the brain and consequently use their right hand for writing. But according to a 2005 paper published in Behavior Genetics, not all lefties may be created equal. The authors theorize there are three kinds of lefties. First, there are natural lefties. Their brain is just a mirror image of a righties and language is processed in the right hemisphere instead of the left. A second kind of lefty consists of natural righties who scientists say suffered some injury to the left hemisphere early in their development. To compensate, verbal processing was shifted to the right hemisphere, making them a lefty. In the third group are what the authors call learned left-handers. These are people who naturally process language in the left hemisphere, but for some reason they began using their left hand for writing and other tasks early in life. As a result, these lefties use both hemispheres of the brain to process verbal material. It's this third category of left-handers, Dr. Wang says, that might account for the most successful lefties. The ability to process language on both sides of the brain may be behind President Obama's eloquence, for instance. Still, it would be inaccurate to say that lefties as a group are smarter or more creative than righties, says Alan Searleman, a psychology professor at St. Lawrence University who has studied handedness for more than 30 years. Left-handers, instead, are more variable than right-handers. This means they show less consistency in their behaviors and their performance on cognitive tests compared with right-handers, and they tend to occupy both extremes of the intellectual spectrum. He adds that they aren't necessarily more creative than righties, but that a larger percentage of lefties think creatively. Both Dr. Wang and Dr. Searleman say it's more likely that a lefty's brain development can lead to unusual outcomes, which can sometimes be beneficial. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Christina Sui.